These are the hottest GAC family movie scenes, and we're starting off with a super steamy one that will leave you wanting more. The movie Jingle Bell Christmas is not just your typical holiday romance. It also has some hot scenes that you simply can't take your eyes off of. After a string of incidents, Princess Amelia of Volan gets stranded in the little town of Tucker, Maine. Tired of her old life, she decides to keep her identity hidden and ends up living with the Cutler family with a widowed father, Sam, and his little girl, Sophie. Her new ordinary life makes her happy, but when she realizes she must leave, she is caught between her love for Sam and her love for her country. The movie stars Merritt Patterson as Princess Amelia and Trevor Donovan as Sam Cutler, and the two make the cutest pair on screen. Charlie Boyle plays Sophie in the movie, and she definitely won everyone's heart with her performance. The movie was actually developed from a book called His Jingle Bell Princess, written by Barbara Dunlop, and it was a smashing hit. Fans went crazy for the movie, and honestly, who wouldn't? After creating a bunch of memories together, Amelia finally reveals her identity to the Cutler family, and while Sophie is thrilled, Sam is more confused than ever. At the party, Amelia's father, the King of Valan, comes to get her, but as he realizes his daughter has changed, he tells her he only wants her happiness, and Amelia rushes back to the Cutler family to make it in time for Christmas. In a small little moment as Sam reveals their new house, the two get a moment to chat. They talk about the journey that they have gone through thus far, and that's when Sam does this. Well, with that kind of chemistry this pair shared throughout the movie, all of us waited for this moment right from the start, didn't we? But this next movie has a great rating on IMDb, and its viewers were totally here for it. Well, it was not just the plot that captured them, it was something more cozier and hotter. We're talking about The Winter Palace. This movie is perfect for a cozy Christmas night, but it also has some hot scenes to get ready for. An author with a major writer's block somehow manages to become a caretaker of a beautiful winter chateau, with the notion of being able to finish her current book. But when the owner of the chateau, the Prince of Concordia himself, shows up with his royal entourage, she is no longer just a caretaker of the chateau, she also has to take royal orders. The prince and the caretaker butt heads, but eventually, the two end up falling for each other. But will the people of Concordia accept a simple commoner as their new princess? The movie released in 2022 and stars Danica McKellar as Emily Miller, the troubled author, and Neil Bledsoe as Henry, the Prince of Concordia. The two have intense chemistry and it was obvious to everyone watching. After her duties as caretaker are done, Emily decides to return to her hometown with a very heavy heart while Henry is busy getting ready for his coronation to be the new king of the country. The distance between the two only makes them realize how much they love each other. As Emily has a talk with her friend Shelly at a cafe, she soon realizes she's not meant to be there. Immediately, she packs her bags and runs to tell Henry how she really feels. Now Henry, still in Concordia, is busy with the preparations of his coronation, but he pulls out a surprise as Emily, who had just reached, watches on. He tells the people of Concordia that he does not want to be the king and that his heart belongs elsewhere. The two lock eyes and it is just sparks flying everywhere instantly. Henry runs towards Emily, and well, take a look at what follows. Whoa, that kiss said a lot more than words ever could. But if you love some central romance, then this next movie is the one for you. In the movie, Joy for Christmas, Holly Silver leaves her publicist position with Arthur Publishing during the Christmas season because she is sick of being blamed for the business's issues and there's no one in line to take her place. A Christmas toy distribution to underprivileged children, an event created by the Holly Silver's long-deceased mother around which the family business was built, is in jeopardy. And Holly believes that rather than looking for another career, she intended to return to the family business. When the event runs into trouble, the family thinks they should abandon the event this year to regroup and think about how to deal with the news when it hits the media. Holly, however, is determined to keep the tradition alive and pitches the idea of using a public figure to invite more donors and save face. She recommends Jack Kane, a former major league pitcher with whom she had a slightly unpleasant interaction with while working at Arthur. She knew Jack could connect to the situation because the same firm had a negative impact on his own organization 
and he had proactive media relation efforts that had some success. While Jack understands Holly's situation, he doesn't want to be the face of a Christmas ad because for him, Christmas has negative associations. Holly, who portrays Santa's elf helper as she would for the toy giveaway in an effort to demonstrate the joys of Christmas, is able to persuade him to at least consider it. The two begin to develop feelings for one another as they spend time together prior to the potential fundraiser featuring Jack because Jack begins to understand Christmas through Holly's eyes. The fundraiser has a huge impact on what happens between the two, that is if they can overcome the obstacles and make it happen this year. The movie stars Cindy Bisbee as Holly and Sam Page as Jack Kane. The chemistry is so strong between the two, there is literally a sizzle. As Jack saves the event by getting toys and donations, he finally confesses his love and what happens next will give you some goosebumps. What could be better than sharing a steamy kiss right under the mistletoe? But this next movie scene will show you some Christmas stars in broad daylight. In the movie, a Christmas star, a young but hardworking astronomer, Madeline, predicts that there will be a meteor shower over a little upstate right before Christmas. On her way to Summit View, she has a flat tire. To her luck, she meets Ryan, a local ranger who offers his help. He helps her find the way to town and in the process, even shows her the perfect spot to watch the meteor shower from. The only problem is when she has to somehow convince the entire world to break a Christmas tradition to make her dream come true. The entire town will have to shut off their Christmas lights to make it dark enough to see the meteors, but will they actually listen to her? Ryan and his daughter give Madeline company as she potentially waits each night, but she's not sure if her dream will come true. Somehow, in search for the meteor showers, she also ends up finding her knight in shining armor. The movie released in 2021 and stars Sarah Canning as Madeline, Daniel Lee as Ryan and Juliet Hawk as Celeste. The two make such a good pair on screen that fans were all rooting for them to be together in real life. You definitely can't ignore the passion between them and they definitely find love under the sparkling stars. When the meteor shower does not happen by the time she expects, Madeline is upset but she learns that a job is only a job and that good people are forever. On her last night in town, she confesses her love for Ryan subtly as she gives a speech to thank everyone in the town. But Celeste convinces the town to switch off their lights one more time and it's a miracle the meteor shower appears as she receives many calls about what she has just discovered madeline talks about the town and the rangers that they have and in the process she also saves ryan's job the sexual tension between the two finally comes to a head as ryan pulls her closer and finally seals the deal Well, that was definitely worth the wait, but this next movie will redefine the meaning of passion. In the movie, Christmas Is You, Emma Bloon works at an old town record and after years, she is given an ultimatum by Rachel, her boss. She either has to get her old ex-boyfriend Tyler, now a world famous pop star, to sign to their label, or she's fired. While all of this is happening, there is a Christmas carol celebration, and Tyler and Emma attend it in order to preserve their memories of their hometown. We learn that Tyler and Emma's strained relationship is a result of Tyler's rejection of Emma after he made a marriage proposal to her. The plot thickens as they both reflect on their past and realize how much they really do mean to one another. Talking of which, your support means the world to us, and we look forward to it every day. If you enjoy our content, please drop a like, subscribe to our channel, and share with your friends. With that out of the way, let's meet the cast of this film. It features some amazing actors, including Becca Tobin as Emma Bloom and Matthew McCall as Tyler Thorne. At the end, Emma and Tyler sang a duet together, and it was breathtaking. As the two talk after a concert under the lit-up gazebo, Tyler tells Emma that he never wants to make the same mistake twice, and he can't let her go. He had actually told the pilot to turn the plane around when he was supposed to leave. To his surprise, she reciprocates the same feeling, and finally, after years of loving each other in secret, the two finally confess their feelings. Do you know any other GAC movie scenes that fired up your screen? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.